so before coming to the MBA, I was based out of London, working for solar developer as an asset manager. I didn't see much of a path uh, forward in terms of growth, uh, staying in my old role. So I thought it was the perfect time to, to apply for an MBA. So I liked the idea of coming into the UK of a one year program because my cost of opportunity was, was a lot smaller. And also I realized that peers would be more aligned in terms of career and where we are and where we want to go. So I thought the UK was, was the, the best natural step to, to progress my career on the MBA. Moving into finance is something that I want to do with my career as well. So having that um, specialized skills in terms of our classes in corporate finance, macroeconomics, microeconomics was something that really, really attracted me here. And so much has changed. Uh, you, you do really, um, it, this place does, does really feels like it changes you and, and, and that's you know, naturally a good thing. It's been, it's been really, really good and exceeded like all my expectations academically, socially, um, and everything else. So I'm pivoting into, into consulting after the MBA. And it's something that it would hardly have been done without, without the program. I had a little bit of a different idea on what direction I wanted to go. Finance was in the cards. But um, through the Cambridge network, I actually, I, I got invited for, for an interview at a consulting company. So it was, I, I needed to come here to, to discover this, this side of me. I was the vice president of the Cambridge University Energy Network, which is a society that was founded by MBAs uh, a while back. And it, it was great. We um, it exceeded our expectations. Um, you know, it's, it's a university conference and we had people coming, you know, climbing up from London. Uh, just to attend, and and the um, the magnitude of speakers that we had was was quite heavy. It was probably my proudest accomplishment here in Cambridge. I, you know, I have a background in energy and renewables. I've been working on renewables for the past seven years, and and that's the industry that I want to go back to. And and that was never never a question in my mind. It was just the um, the question was how I would get back to that. And it turns out that I'm going to a firm which is widely recognized for doing energy consultancy as well. And I decided instead to, to concentrate in finance, which is uh, something I had never worked or had a role in before. And, and I thought there was more value on, on, on the growth there on that part. The MBA is the chance to, to div diversify your, your, your views and your perspectives and, 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 and to learn. So doing on strategy consulting for, for Formula E was, was a really, really cool experience. The opportunities that the program provides you, it's, it's up to you, right, what, what you make of it. And organizing this energy society, that opens up so many doors afterwards, not just you know, for networking and, and potential job opportunities, but also I, uh, one of the panels in, in the conference, I thought it was incredibly interesting, so I'm writing my research paper on it. So that's, that, that's the value of the MBA is it, you know, it's exponentially, um, you know, multiplies your, your exposure to, to new experiences and then you, you, you make out of them what, what you want for yourself. In my mind, you cannot even think of Cambridge without thinking about academics, right? This is, this is a university, this is a place uh, where, you know, to quote one of our professors, there, there's something in the air, right? And so the academics, the academic reputation of the university and of the program specifically were, were a bit of a deal breaker for myself, especially the opportunity to, to run a research project over the summer. This was, you know, very much clear in my mind. If I have, if I have an opportunity to produce something academically at the University of Cambridge that has been around literally for 800 years, why, why would I ever pass on that?